going on guys? Just want to do a uh, create a class video of some of my favorite classes in the game. These are for public matches, obviously. Um, let's get into it. So this is the Maddox. Uh, this is my favorite AR in the game. Um, I think the ICR is probably a little bit better. Or definitely, the ICR is the best gun in the game. Let's, let's not kid anyone. Um, but this gun, the fire rate is so high and it's got a 40 round magazine. So um, you can compete with people up close because of that super high fire rate and uh, just having the big the magazine on it is obviously always good. Uh, reload less, you die less. Um, pretty consistent gun. Iron sights are okay. Um, but I like, this is one of the rare guns that I actually like the ELO on more than the red dot. Usually always red dot. Quick draw. Um, everything about this gun's fast. The fire rate, the ADS time. And quick draw just um, makes that ADS even faster. So that's an attachment you're going to want to have on here. And stock. Any AR that has stock available, put stock on. It should be pretty much the first thing you put on. Um, you're going to be able to go around corners while already ADSing, and you can swivel around people's bullets as they're shooting at you. Um, you can strafe real fast on head glitches, making it pretty much impossible to kill. Um, put stock on. Just put stock on, alright? Just put stock on. Uh, quick draw 2. I don't, you don't, I don't think you really need this on this class. What does it actually do? Uh, maximize aiming speed and increase peripheral vision while looking down sights. Multi-zoom optics do not gain peripheral vision bonus. So all it does is like make the sides of your sight clear and you aim down sights a little bit faster. You already aim down sights ridiculously fast. Um, I think I was just trying to see what this was like on here, that's why I have it on. But uh, let me show you some of what I mean uh, with the stock. All right, guys. So here's the SOG with the uh, the SOG submachine gun with stock to on. Like, look how fast you can just move left and right while people are trying to hit you. It's insane. Um, I really think it's the exact same, like left or right, strafe speed as it is with this. Yeah, it's just about the same. I'm like, oh, you can just move so fast with this thing. Come around corners already aimed. Just everything about this gun is super fast. Um, it's not the most accurate. Uh, it's pretty accurate, but uh, it doesn't really do that much damage at range. Really good gun. If you're gonna put it on, put stock two on. And fly through corners. Good ass gun. Uh, in terms of perks and equipment and gear, um, well, first I'd probably take off that, and then I'd actually have uh, room for a secondary. The secondaries, I like pretty much all of them a little bit. I don't really use the rocket launcher. Um, shotguns, this thing's pretty good. If you get that secondary uh, long barrel on here, this gun's a cheat code, and they definitely need to fix that. It's actually insane. Um, this is good for just cleaning up kills that uh, you'd otherwise have to like reload for. If you get someone down pretty hurt, you fly around the corner, you press this thing, I'll pull the trigger like 10 times, you don't even have to look. But uh, I like the Strife and the Mose are the best. I really tried to like this three round burst gun, um, just cause in some of the Black Ops games, like the RK5 and the, I forget what the one was before that, but all the three round pistols, the Rafika, uh, they're always some of my favorite guns. But this thing like doesn't really kill people. Um, I thought if I ranked it up to rapid fire and I could get two bursts on someone real fast, uh, but sometimes it takes three bursts. And like up close, you don't really have that time, especially when the ICR and other guns can kill faster than this. Um, so if you're gonna run this with just uh, the sight and two attachments. Uh, just put on a good pistol, um, long barrel or something on there. It's always good. Um, acoustic sensor, dude, this thing is a cheat code. Um, it's basically six cents with some more tiers on it. So it breaks your minimap into, I think, like probably six sections, and it shows you exactly where the enemy is coming from. It, the description says enemy movements are easier to hear, but that does, it's not even like one tenth of what this thing actually does for you. It just shows you where they are on your map, pretty much. Um, I don't think it works when they're not moving, but whatever. It's one of my favorite things. Um, obviously, body armor is really good. I don't like it that much, though. I, uh, I haven't really used too much of these. Stim shots, nasty. I, I mainly rotate between acoustic sensor and stim shot. If you're going to be rushing, use a stim shot. If you're going for streaks, 
and kind of like playing carefully, use the acoustic sensor. Perk one. Um, I don't, I'm not huge on any of these, really. I like the engineer one because you can see the dog through walls, which the dog's insane. So I want to know when he's coming, I can get away. Um, scavenger, I just pick up a gun off someone pretty much every time. I'm fine with that. Black jacket. Uh, not too many things blowing up. Not everyone's spawning with a grenade, so it's still a really good perk, but I don't like it that much. Uh, tack mask is good. That definitely helps. Um, but I just like engineer. I can see the trip mines. I can see where people's care packages are landing. You can see the strike team, the dogs. See a bunch of stuff through walls. And you can reroll care package if you want to run care package and your teammates' care packages. But then they all start asking you to reroll stuff for them and it gets annoying. So don't tell them you have not. Um, perk two. I don't know why I have lightweight on. I like dexterity the best. But um, I don't know. I'm not huge on any of these. Um, dexterity, you get that faster slide movement and you mantle stuff and bring up your weapon faster. Um, that's probably my favorite. If you're aggressive with the slide and especially with this extra speed on it, like people can't hit you even if you're sliding right at them and you jump out of your slide, there's a lot you can do with the slide. Uh, perk three, I think this one's a no brainer for me. Um, Dead Silence. Ninja, whenever this perks in any Call of Duty game, I put it on. If you're playing with headphones, put on Dead Silence. Um, one thing that's weird though in this game is you can still hear your own footsteps in the Dead Silence. I don't know why it's called Dead Silence, because like, it's supposed to be Dead Silent. But uh, whatever, it's still probably the best perk. Uh, definitely the best perk in this category, but one of the best perks in the game. Submachine Gun, I think this SOG is the best sub in the game. Uh, incredibly fast fire rate, decent magazine size, and um, within the range you're supposed to be using it at, it's pretty accurate. Outside of that, don't try it, because it's just like tickling people at range. There's no point. Just put on a different gun. Um, stock 2 on here. I'll show you guys what that looks like in a minute, but you can fly around. It's insane. Like, nobody can hit you. And then grip, just because the rate of fire is so high, and then you can push the range a little bit. I know I was saying not to because it doesn't really damage people outside of up close, but sometimes you get stuck, and uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta gun them from range. Uh, I just have a secondary on here. I could probably... Uh, I don't know. Whatever you want to do here, but pistol's always good to have. You just swap it out for another gun, anyways. Um, stim shot. I run this because with this thing, with the stock two, I'm flying all around. Get behind cover here real quick, heal real quick, and then pop back out and start shooting again. Um, pretty much the exact, yeah, the exact same perks here. Um, obviously, this to get the third attachment on the gun. This class, you don't like take pause the video, make this class. This is the best gun in the game. Um, grip 2 on here. Thing does not kick. And you get... Um, reduces flinch when aiming down the sight. Someone shooting at you. Um, could be like the Titan or whatever. It's supposed to make your guy kick a lot. Which is when your screen like goes up, left or right. Depending on where you're getting hit. It doesn't happen when you have grip 2 on. The gun also doesn't kick when you have grip 2 on. It just shoots straight laser beams. Um, I'll show you what this looks like. I'm sure... Most of you guys already have this, and if you don't, seriously, make this exact class. Uh, the gear you can put on whatever. Um, I don't know how lightweight it keeps popping up in all my classes. But uh, yeah, red dot. The iron sights are actually pretty good, but um, just if you're going to have the most accurate gun in the game, I feel like you should give yourself the best chance you can to aim, so probably throw an optic on there. All right, here's the other tier two attachment, grip two. This thing doesn't move. Let's find something that'll make holes. Like, do you see how little of his head was seeable there? I was able, oh. All right, well the bullet holes are gone. Um, dude, I mean, you can see it here. It stays in one spot. Um, in the grip too, you, it reduces the flinch too. So let me see if I can get someone to shoot at me. You'll see what I mean. All right, these spots are pretty stupid. 
Please shoot at me. Come on, man. Look. Doesn't move. I'll uh, put that again here in slow motion. This is just probably the best gun in the game. It, it's easily the best gun in the game. This and the Vapor. The Vapor is also a good gun, but um, the no kick on this thing is just absolutely, that was pretty bad aim. It's insane. So, use this gun.